you're the best newspaper man in the world. It's your whole life. I, I don't want to change that. I've got a right to a life, too, and you can't give it to me. Can he? Can you be the same way with him you were with me? Is it that easy? Yes, this is the story of a hard-hitting editor who refused to let his newspaper be killed, who came out fighting with a cold steel of facts to turn the spotlight of a free press on the truth. This paper will fight for progress and reform. We'll never be satisfied merely with printing the news. We'll never be afraid to attack wrong, whether by predatory wealth, predatory poverty. You're not selling the day, you're killing it. This is highly irregular procedure. So is the murder of a newspaper. Never beat up a reporter, they say. It's like killing a cop on duty, they say. Never drop girls in the river, clothed or unclothed, they say. Very funny. Tomorrow's newspaper will be even funnier. That's the Rienzi I like to see. This way you start shooting. You wouldn't have had a wife of that newspaper. It had beautiful legs. I guess they made them different in your day. Yeah. The girls nowadays have the stuff, but they're brittle. Break more easily. Don't roll with the punches. <laughs> did I have a pleasant time last night? Yes, dear. I did. Well, <laughs> what do you know? Wait a minute, don't hang up. Here's some advice for your friend. Don't print that story. What's that supposed to be? An order? If not tonight, then tomorrow. Maybe next week, maybe next year. Uh. But sooner or later, you'll catch it. Print that story or a dead man. <laughs>